Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is GMW on the Tuesday. First of two episodes this week. First of two go-home shows this week, in fact. Um, first of two go-home shows this week. Because uh, a week from Thursday is the pay-per-view as well. A week from Thursday is the pay-per-view. So GMW Revolution is the pay-per-view for a week from Thursday. So we've got two crazy... Cracking, excuse me, uh, shows this week. So we'll see what happens. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Games Matter Wrestling is at your service here on a Tuesday. Um, and like my man Professor Green says, which YouTube would not hear this, by the way, but like my man Professor Green says, I don't know when that doesn't work. Well, it didn't work for me first time. Oh, good. It's going to be that old day, isn't it? But eventually, like my man Professor Green says... All right, no worries. Yep, I got the remedy, and this is GMW. They try to kill me when I fought back I crack the stops with a baseball bat The justice will never make this right I need to run and stay out of sight And the church it was me or them Now for a lifetime I'm condemned I could forget my old set way of life I'll go to prison or die GMW is underway, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to you, the Tuesday's episode of GMW, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Games Matter, otherwise known as The Head, otherwise known as whatever the hell you want to call me. Um, but yes, GMW on a Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Live and exclusively streamed only, for now at least, on Twitch. You get it on YouTube and the replays. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, two out of three falls. GMW World Tag Team Championship match is your main event of the evening today, ladies and gentlemen. The Los Loco Lobos take on the team of the Wolfpack Mafia, led by OJJ and Goldberg. That's right. Toronto, Canada. Boy, you in for a treat tonight. I'm about to work with me first with no problem. Right, so we kick off with Sting. And this is all about him and his beef with OJJ. The newly crowned LCW World Television Champion, by the way. So, yes, and I'm a little bit um, somewhat annoyed about LCW at the moment. And I sp spoke to this um, last week with uh, Joe as well, Monday, in fact, uh, yesterday. He has drafted the Mafia to, and by the way, I'm a two-time LCW world champion, by the way. Yes, Dios de la Guerra. I proved that his win at me at, against me at the pay-per-view was a fluke. And apparently now I'm facing Chris Danger on LCW's next pay-per-view for the World Championship. So that'll be interesting. But anyway, apparently now the Mafia has been drafted to Mayhem. So the Mafia now works Mondays. But Lady J, who was also in the Mafia, is now on Chaos. And I, conf and I talked to Joe about this yesterday because apparently he wanted her on Chaos for his women's tag team division. But Joe, I want her on the Mafia. I want her on Mayhem. I want all mafias together, big boy. So you be so you might want to think about something. But Joe has also said that he wanted her on there to do the female mafia as well. And I'm talking about chaos on a Friday. He wanted her on there to do the female mafia as well. Which, to be honest, I might actually allow her being on chaos then because he might help me out. 
because I haven't got a clue who I'm going to put in the female mafia. Yes, there will be a female, female mafia led by Lady J. I haven't got a Scooby-Doo who to put in. <laughs> so, in that respect, so, Joe may very well help me with that, in that respect. But quite frankly, I want all Mafia on Mayhem, quite frankly. So, either way, we'll work something out eventually. And I'm sure OJJ is not too pleased with that as well. Because that's his woman. Lady J's his woman. I'm so bit of the Banshee and OJJ when he won the TV belt, the LCW TV title on there. On Monday. Yes, the TV championship is now in GM in LCW2, LCW World Television title um, as well. And I'm going to be looking to make some changes to the GMW TV championship as well. I'm considering things to take it down a different direction. It's still going to be the TV belt. It's still it's lineage and everything like that, but I might change the look of it to follow. That's not easy to say. So yes, yeah, Sting is wanting to confront OJJ. Um, I think Sting will be in action on Thursday as well. Uh, and by the way, later on, well, yes, later on it'll be Lady J versus Mercedes too. But Amanda Drake is barred from ringside. As a matter of fact, she's barred from the arena. So if you're going to see Amanda Drake, you'll see her on Thursday as well. She'll be competing on Thursday. Uh, I don't know how to... To be honest with you, look at my Goldberg. Goldberg, an enforcer. You want someone who's strong, um, who's powerful, and who can take care of business, really. Who, who you think can take care of business. You know? And someone to, like, watch your back, in a way. You know, Ric Flair, Arn Anderson type deal. I mean, OJJ is OJJ at the end of the day, but Goldberg, I brought Goldberg in to watch my back. Goldberg to me is like a bodyguard. Not that I need a bodyguard, but Goldberg is like my bodyguard kind of deal. You know, if, if people piss the mafia off, if people piss the mafia off, here you go, num you num. If people piss the Mafia off, or piss me off, normally I feed them to Goldberg. And Goldberg fucks them up, kind of deal. Doesn't always, but, you know, Goldberg fucks them up, kind of deal. So if people piss the Mafia off, people piss me off. People piss the Mafia off in general, normally I take care of it if I have to. But normally, nine times out of ten, I feed them to Goldberg. Because that's what he's doing, he enforces my law, so to speak. He enforces the law of the group. If you will. Not in here, I don't. I'm a hardcore champion, two time LCW champion, LCW world champion, multi time tag team champion, and probably the longest reigning GMW tag team champion in this company's history as well. So I kind of don't need a bodyguard. Of course, the Mafia was formed to enforce my law and keep control because I felt like I was losing control of GMW at the time but they helped me keep control right moving off to another direction ladies and gentlemen I want to talk about Ark while this is going to take place will these two brawl I don't know but you know what's going on I want to talk about Ark because at the beginning of the, uh, earlier on today I went on today started playing around with the paintings you saw what I did yesterday on the stream by the way thank you for the views yesterday by the way um, you saw what I did on stream yesterday. I'm a little annoyed at some things, but like I said, that's another day for me. I'm a little annoyed at the fact that, I tell you what I am annoyed in, the, the fact that this hasn't been a giga since last week at the desert area, since I tamed that giga, that female giga. There has not been one giga on there since last week, unless I've missed something. So I'm a little bit pissed off with that. So, no worries, I understood you. So yeah, I've been on it, and I also today I went on to single player today, 
I had some fun on single player. And with the Valgero map as well. The Val the Val map. I had a little go at a fly around and I decided to pick some wyverings up. Um, I couldn't pick any uh, as a matter of fact I think I did pick a uh, what they call it egg up. Um, a fire one, but it was only level twenty five, so I ate it. Um, and I picked a level 85 I only got a 175 last time I did it but the admin commands are very fun and also today I with a little help from Mr. Kill Me Quickly as well directed me towards the ad commands on the site that I probably should have used in the first place but I didn't because I'm a moron I got to use spectator mode today which was hell of fun so that means I could do a oh here we go again can these two have a simple conversation? Yes, triumphchairs.com gives my attempt for 10% off. These two cannot have a freaking <laughs> simple conversation. I swear to you, it's personal between these two. It, it, it's legit personal between these two. These two cannot have one simple conversation. Three times they've done this, and both times, you know, and I think all three times they've went into a brawl. I need uh, OJJ to remain focused too, because he could walk out of the show later on tonight, later on today as a tag team champion. So, you know, OJJ two belts could be the th could be a thing by the end of the show. There's the last shot. So yeah, what I'm saying, I mean, I expect him. I've been learning the admin commands um, on there as well in the single player. I might redo my single player session again some single player sessions again but at the moment right now I'm using them as mess for the admin command and there's one map that I have not used it's quite fact there's quite a few maps that I haven't used Aberration Extension and Scorched Earth have been one but I'm kind of using Aberration on the Val map um, get in there ref I need OJJ 100% for later on I don't need no more injuries more of OJJ later on in the tag match, but these two will meet one week from Thursday. And I think it's just got personal. So, yeah. So, I'm kind of using the Aberration server anyway, because I'm on Val. Because there's like an Aberration section on the Val map anyway. Um, and I was pissed off yesterday. Don't get me started on the Val thing. But, uh, yeah, I've never used that. But there's one other match band that I haven't used. And I don't think any of us have used. Center the center map so I might start doing a single player in that as well down the road I don't know we'll have to wait and see but yes ladies and gentlemen this new tag team which I am deeming the unholy alliance which is horse and punishment Martinez are going to make their debut as a tag team and they're going to go up against the clowns Leatherface and Pennywise to open up this proceeding today here on GMW, the wrestling portion of this show, because we wrestle on this show. We don't talk a lot, like certain Monday Night Raw, three hours of Monday Night Raw. Yeah. Although, I've kind of digged Monday Night Raw lately. Um, and uh, Retribution. Blimey neck. I was going to say Retribution, the leader of Retribution, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is Donovan Dijak, who, look, who looks like Bane. He really does. But, uh, yeah. Can I please, can you please do Andre the Giant? This is my GMW. Andre the Giant's not in GMW, unfortunately. I could do it if this was the, uh, the fan zone. The, uh, what was it? Fan's Choice. VMR, there you go. It'll come to me eventually. Uh, I could do if this was the VMR, but this is GMW. This is my brand. This is my brand. Yeah, that's the that's the number one thing you do on Ark anyway, Dragon Queen. You know, that's that that's the one the number one thing you do, especially if you start again on the on a map. The ultimate number one priority, besides getting a base and saving and whatnot, boost your character, get the levels up as best you can by any means necessary. That's one thing I've definitely learned on that game. Especially if you start again. 
The best way to do it is kill things. Um, or kill little things. Don't kill the big things. As well. That's what I do anyway. And when I first went on the Val map on the Allied Dark server anyway, all I did was build. I got put on a, sh on a bullshit area. On a bullshit area which sucked. By a douchebag. I, like I say, kills me. Kill me knows who I'm talking about, and then kill me saved the day and put me onto a better place, a better area as well. But like I say, all I did when I was on, the, when I went on the Val map for the first time, was build, 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 The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. On the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 568 pounds. At the moment right now, um, they wish they were 568 pounds. At the moment right now. Yes, the industrial grinder. Oh no, I haven't got the uh, grinder. I might need, I might want to, I'm, I'm going to look into that later on after the stream. I want to know what that does, that industrial grinder. I want to know what that does. I haven't used one of them. I got the industrial cooker the other day from uh, Kill Me, which is now just a blessing, which is the, up the upgraded version of the cooking part as well. And I also need to learn to make kibble too. Another thing I need. Because a lot of animals on, a lot of tamed animals, ladies and gentlemen, and that need the kibble. Yo, what up, big Amish? You were in action later on against John Moxley. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Big Amish right there, ladies and gentlemen, go and check him out. And yes, Big Amish is part of that fatal four-way matchup. Four-way dance, which takes place next week. Fatal four-way, four-way dance for the undisputed GMW World Heavyweight Championship. It will be Loco Joe defending against the Big Amish Goldberg and John Moxley. Amish takes on John Moxley later on. That will be your main event for the first hour of this episode, or the first part of this episode. And their opponents first from and New York, New York, weighing in at 251 pounds. Yeah, I will definitely look into that um, because I haven't used the industrial grinder. Um, but the industrial cooker is an, up is, is, is an upgraded version of the cooking part, and that has worked a treat for me because all I've done is made die. <laughs> which you know I've been painting a lot so and I pretty much painted me uh, what I call it I'm in the middle of painting my hatching area as well inside and out I painted the outside but I'm painting the inside as well and I'm painting I'm doing red and black pattern on my uh, hut as well the uh, the work hut the um, the storage hut, the storage shop that I've got as well. Industrial grinder. Is that, I, I, hang on, come to think of it. Dragon Queen, the industrial grinder. Is that the one that makes metal? Oh no, that's the forge I'm thinking of. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, I'm thinking of the uh, forge that I've got in the center of the storage unit, which makes you know, metal turns metal into metal in them. I'm thinking of that. Wow. But I will get a grinder later on. I'll check it. I'll, I'll test it out and see what it does. Yeah, because that's what I have done on there. And I need a chemistry set too. Ooh, look, the chemistry bench. As well. I think I might go and get that later on as well. Get them too. Like I said, I've got plenty of... And his partner up. from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Weighing in at 420 pounds. Former world champion, Hoss. So yes, I, it's like I say, I've been making a lot of dye on there as well. And I've got some aloes that I need to raise that I've got to I killed some low level, um, some low level, uh, some low level vinyls that I got today. Um, that, I, that I got taming, but I was trying to tame. Um, I tried to breed one with a high level, but it didn't come out a good level. It came out level 800. I 
thought it would come out a little bit better, but it didn't. So I'm killing, I'm killing low level animals now. I'm just focusing on the high levels. You know, I will probably still tame low levels to task, you know, to test myself to get it and everything like that. But from now on, low level stuff, I'm getting rid of. Whether it's the wyverns that I got, I'll c consume the eggs. Whether it's the wyverns that I got tamed, whatever. If I'm getting low level ones, I will get rid of. Now, that means I'll probably have to change your stone to flint, wood to thatch. I might do that. That would save me a job going out and get friggin' thatch and wood and all that shit. Mm. Interesting. Yes, I'm gonna get a grinder later on when I'm done with this. But yes, this is Pushman Martinez and Pilot Pennywise. So yeah. I can see I do this. I can see I get the chemistry bench too. I get the chemistry bench as well. So a grinder and a chemistry bench is one of them. And I'll just put them in the storage area. Uh, in the storage area. Uh, Storage forward slash workshop forward slash whatever the fuck that is. But I'm making the most of it, ladies and gentlemen. And also on top is the end of that. I've already got the teleporters down. I will be working on my Val map as well, the aberration server as well. Uh, uh, I might need a helmet or some eye protection as well because I, have, I went in the day and there was like a flashing light. It's at the back of me today because I. I looked around on the, uh, on the Val map, on the Val map of the aberration zone today. I tried to try and get a rock drake egg for the Val map. I want to go and tame the other tropical wyverns because the other wyverns that I've been getting are near me, the, you know, the colourful crystal wyverns and whatnot. But there's more wyverns on the other map as well. I'm going to try and tame a few of them as well. But I know how to tame them. It's just, you know, how can I approach it in respect to trying to tame it? And yes, I'm still on a quest as well for a snow owl. After yesterday's bullshit as well, so... I still can't believe what happened yesterday. Fucking tr That was the most... Like I said yesterday, guys, on the art thing. That was the most annoying thing that has ever happened to me playing art. Here. What happened yesterday with the... Uh, the water park. Is the most, that was the most annoying thing that's ever happened to me on the game. And Ark is well, Ark can be annoying. Oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, the uh, admin commands are fun. The admin commands are fun. Ah, Mr. Tillman. Welcome in, sir. MJ Tillman. Uh, your character is making its debut today. The killer. He will be in action later on in the broadcast. Uh, third match on the card. So, yeah. Third match on the card. And also on the Aberration Zone, I found an artifact as well. While I was looking around the spectator mode. But that spectator mode is fun. Flying around is fun, but the spectator mode is fun because you can pretty much go all over the map and nobody will see you, and you can spectate them. Fun as hell. It's fun as hell. It's fucking hilarious. Because you can basically troll people on the map and just look around and think and, and catch them out and then call them out on it, and then they'll be like, "Oh no, I didn't." And then you'd be like, you know, you'd have full. Not a problem, sir. 
Yes, your guy will be competing later on today. Third match on the card. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing what he can do. So, I always look forward to seeing new talent. Especially here in GMW. And I'm open to new talent here in GMW, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a character, whether it's on Xbox, if it's on Xbox, uh, get me on this right here. I think Discord would be the best bet. Get me on the Discord and um, well, get me on the Discord and message me your formula. When I say formula, I'm talking about creating the um, creating it, creating the uh, character. How would you create the character? The instructions on how to create the character. That's what I mean by formula um, as well. But if you have a PS4. Get your character, upload it to Community Creations using the hashtag GMW. Let me know. Like I say, you can let me know on, know on the uh, Discord, you can let me know on Twitch and Whisper, you can let me know on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Whatever you want. This is a bit. Get me on there. And by the way, games matter underscore if you want my Instagram too. If this ends in the double count out, guys, this ends in the double count out, just for the record. But uh, I'm going to admit, Horst and Martinez have looked good as a team. And I think Martinez is going to put the foul. And boy, did he ever. I'm not going to lie, Martinez and Horst have the potential to be a dominant team. They have the potential to be dominant. Oh, you, oh, I thought he was going to go for the uh, count up there. I was going to say, you cheapskate. Yeah. I thought my wildest dream would be with yeah. Martinez. Or horse for that, man. Three. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, Asriel one on one with Goliath. That's just me to fuck with Asriel, man. <laughs> Apparently Pennywise is a big fan of Shinsuke Nakamura. Yes, Tombstone, drop it, break his neck, there you go. I don't like Pennywise. Come to think of it, I don't like uh, Martinez or Horse, but... I'm never face break, broke it up. Into the midsection, double underhook. Hanging vertical suplex? No. So, yeah, the admin commands on Ark have been absolutely superb. The fun is hell to do. And you can get a lot of things while you're in there. Yeah, especially with the fly command. Just fly to the wife and steal an egg and go. <laughs> cool.
Although I did use the spectator mode and I disabled it and it spawned me back to my bed and my base and everything and then uh, I lost all my stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, the admin commands. And if there's anyone who can teach you the admin commands as well, he'll be the guy. Like I said, that's what I'm doing as well. I mean, with the admin command as well, just having fun with it. Try them out. Yeah. I mean, I basically made the Valgero map, the Valgero single player, and the Crystal Isle single player as warm up to them two coming on the Allied Ark server this world. Because I, I didn't want to wait, quite frankly. I wanted to get on there and play both. But uh, yeah, now that they're both on the Allied Ark map and everything, and the Allied Ark server and everything, they just, you know. The Allied server. Now the ball from there, now I can just do what I want. You know. I might do a single player. Uh, uh, but I might bump it up a little bit. I might do some things that have never been done. Uh, maybe do my own things, my own ways, you know, bump up the levels a little bit. You know, I have to figure things out first before I do that. But like I say, it's all about having fun, at least with me, it is, anyway, that. And like I say, on Ark lately, guys, I'm literally on a roll with uh, what I've been doing again. I mean, with all the teaching that I've had and all the advice and the help and whatnot, I have done things on Ark now that if you told me when I first started playing Ark that I could do, I'd have said you're out of your mind. Go home. Whatever it is you smoke can put it down. And now look at me. I am an art player. I don't know if I'll be playing art on Friday. You know? I want to bump up, you know, things and change things around. With that. I can get my PC to stream. Or games to stream on PC. I might play football manager on Friday. Granted, it works. What Leatherface is keeping uh, Pennywise in the man? Putting shift in that was Pennywise is getting his ass kicked. Imagine if Pennywise were, Pennywise and Leatherface were in that being dominant. That would make them look bad. There's a choke slam on the choke back there. Just yeah. So imagine Penny Lies in the first one now to be dominated this match. And a that's it. Delhi's move in GMW, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Super power player. Yo, what up, Loco? Loco! Um, since you're here. Uh, there's a problem. 
you've got your new attire up. One, two, wow. You mean to tell me Punishment Martinez and Hart dominated that match? Yeah, Pennywise still beat Leatherface. Pennywise and Leatherface still beat him. You've got to be kidding me. They can't win matches. I put them both together for an opportunity to, for one of them to face the world champion and everything like that. Okay, a world championship match. They get a double count out. They decided to get together as a tag team and they lose their first match. Oh, my, my wits end with these two. Not so much for their domination. Because that's pretty much derailed it. But anyway, local, I tried to download your new characters today. I can download your character, but apparently it won't let me download Ray Wolf. Because there's things to, that I need to unlock, even though I've already unlocked them. Go figure. Uh, so, yeah. So I don't know what it is, but like I say, you might want to change things around a little bit. Still keep what you've done. But you might want to change around. Yes, it was a good match. I know, I know, dude. What the fuck indeed, but hey, 2K20 for you, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Right, my big derailing of Mr. Azriel. The biggest pain in my ass since LCW Season 1. Just continues. Making this prick's life a living hell. So, he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Goliath. And I hope Goliath beats the piss out of him. Please beat the piss out of him. Goliath. And if Goliath beats the piss out of him, hmm, I might throw a... I might throw a dog a bone, let's just say. I might throw the big man a bone. If he if he beats him, by the way. If he doesn't, then it is what it is. So yeah, Goliath versus Azrael. Coming up after this will be Killer versus Evil Joe. Then it'll be Big Amish one-on-one -on -one with John Moxley as well. Three-way dance as well. Uh, Tal Helvossen, Tuberman, and Colby Jordan. Yes, Colby's back tonight. So yes, them three will compete in a three-way dance that I've put together. Lady J versus Mercedes 2. And then Amanda Drake is barred from ringside. And yes, Lady J versus Mercedes 2 is for the women's title. And if Lady J is not the women's champion by after this, she's still going to face Amanda Drake. Amanda Drake, Amanda Drake might get a title shot. She might not have a title shot. She might not. You know, the following fight. contest is scheduled for one fall. I love it when I get out of it. Making his way to the ring from no place in particular. Weighing in at 640 pounds, the Goliath. All righty then. Former MCW World Champion. Ah, yes, MCW, you remember them days. Yes, MCW World Champion. Well, former MCW World Champion. Wants to be GMW World Champion. Wants to be GMW World's Champion, but uh, it's not working out for him, at the moment at least. And his opponent, representing the Anarchist, He's from dead. your darkest fears, weighing in at 260 pounds. Right I'll tell you what, he's from somewhere, but I don't think what I can say is. Yeah. Well, 
Well, apparently there is, according to me, downloading Ray Wolf's thing, uh, Joe. Apparently there is. Uh, I don't think it ever says that, to be honest with you, but anyway. Uh, Yes, Goliath and as we are. He's now. I mean, let me see what this deep said. Never doubt with uh, Asriel's ability. Never doubt with it whatsoever. He keeps his big pain in my ass, which is what he's uh, Never doubt with his talents or his ability. Or lack thereof. Drop it, drop it, drop it. So glad this guy's on chaos. In LCW. I'm about to deal with him in LCW anymore. Hopefully I won't have to deal with him anymore here in GMW before then, but anyway. Seven. So it's just been one big huge play in that guy. But anyway, so yeah. No worries there, uh, Joe. No worries. They say you're the World Tag Team Champs. You will defend them both so that they run against the Wolfpack Mafia. And then whoever wins that match pretty much has to face the Trailblazers. And whoever wins the match between the Mafia and Lobos against the Trailblazers will eventually face the Outlaws. Because the Outlaws are all the World Tag Team title shot. Well, I might make a match. I might make the tag match depending on the outcome of the match. I might make it uh, for the show after. Revolution people. Trailblazers. Yes, jump him on. Goliath and uh Like Joe said on Monday, I don't think anyone has won a match on this game without a dominant stretch. Just saying. Make anybody submit on that, but anyway. One. Only one count. up and you slam him down. Got 
basement the whole command, and yes, that is a big man doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Get him off. Ball choke slam. Swim around like a rat Well, Goliath won there. There you go, there's the choke bar. One, two, three. The Goliath, dominant. <laughs> and I have to admit that match was pretty fun. Is Azrael changing his ways? I wouldn't buy I wouldn't buy it for one second. But anyway, Goliath dominates Azrael. <laughs> Not in the way Azrael would normally like, but in, in anyway, you know what I mean. Right. Third match is upon us, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm looking forward to this. Because MJ Tillman, who is in chat, this is his guy right here, Killer. And he's going to go one on one with Evil Joe. Let's see if this could be a good debut for, uh, for him. Probably won't be. But you never know. You never know. Do 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 I wonder where I'm gonna get my Magmuses from uh, Frankie on a uh, arc. Should be interesting. Yes, you said she was gonna breed me to save me to Magmus Magmuses because I gave her the wyvern that I tamed, the max level female wyvern that I tamed, and uh, them two th thiacolios that I got from Val. I just brought them over to what I call it and said, hey, you can have them. Take them away, please. Take them away, please. And uh, I brought them over for her. And yeah, like I said, I dropped them off and uh, douchebag was there. And I think I've developed some allergies in, res in respect to that. But in any event, moving swiftly on, there he is, killer. Let's see how much of a killer he can be. Unique attire. This is his debut match here in GMW. Can he impress me? We're about to find out. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Houston, Texas. Weighing in at 230 pounds, the Monster. See how much. Let's see what he can bring to the table. Kind of look forward to this. Coming up after this, Big Amish one-on-one -on -one with John Mopsley. Also still to come, ladies and gentlemen, Mercedes and Lady J2 for the women's title. So the Banshee, who's still suffering from a neck injury at the hands of Amanda Drake. The power drive off the apron three times in their match a couple of weeks ago, which has led to what's happening at the uh, Revolution pay-per-view. By the way, that match at the pay-per-view between Manda Drake and Lady J is extreme rules. Anything goes. I don't know if I can make it. The, old, the other alternative to that match is First Blood. But uh, I don't think you can do First Blood for women. I might be wrong. 
I could be wrong. And his opponent from Buenos Aires, Argentina, weighing in at 130 I'm, I'm turning them loose, both of them loose. Extreme But yes. The three pound grab is like I say, Amanda Drake almost killing my women's champion, almost killing, putting, you know, trying to put Lady J out of wrestling, out of GMW and else. And LCW too. With a serious neck injury. Thankfully, it was only a minor because, well, let's just say Lady J's. Even though she's a crazy banshee, she's smart enough to protect herself as well. I don't think she went into a match expecting three power drivers off the apron. So. So anyway, Evil Joel and Killer to kick this off. This should be good. Killer. Oh no, but tie up, go behind. Another go behind reversal there from Evil Joel. Snap Mare into a, ch a chin lock. Evil Joel after a take down the side headlock. Kind of was that into a headlock. Go for that arm wrench. And it's going to take down Advantage Killer so far. Knee to the gut. Belly to belly suplex. Elbow drops out of the way, goes behind, takes the elbows into the face. Belly to the back, suplex on that corner. Looking good so far. Four arm smash Rock Evil Joe. Ah, top Rock Evil Joe too. Let's throw it to the apron. And then go back in the hard way. Hard kick to the back. Kind of angles Evil Joe and Evil Joe. Close line sends the killer to the outside. Rolls on the outside. Advantage killer though. Knee to the gut. Looks like a back heel, right hand. There was the back heel, the back heel kick that he uh, wanted to go. Still throws the evil draw back in the ring. So now to get back in the ring. Right hand blocked. Put the right hand. Another running back heel kick. Kick there catches uh, Joel off guard. Killer now, Joel. Forearm smash rocks Joel, and then a kick to the MMA kick to the uh, shin area. With the Joel on the floor at the moment. Killer going up on top. What's he going for? Frog splash right into the knees. Little Joel. But that is a neck breaker. Kind of like what I did to Dios de la Guerra on uh, LCW on Monday. Except it wasn't a neck breaker. Mr. De la Guerra got a rude awakening. I love that rude awakening. Like I said in Joe's team, God bless Rick Rude. Anyway, dumps him across the top. Killer now in total control. So far, so good with Killer. So far, so good. And a version of the Sister Abigail. And an STF submission hold. No. The draw manages to get out of that. I have no idea what that was, but didn't connect. Evil Joe close lines now. Looking to get back into the game and a close line splash off the top, duck of the close line and the close line. Oh! That was a version of my good night sweet prince two and Keller kicks out, thank my lord. Oh. 
Savage on the line. So one, two, and Killer kicks out of that too. Into the midsection. DDT Kipper. Cover, one, two, sets up flip. Come back in there, didn't get it though. And... An orthodox suplex. Standing shooting star press. No idea what Joe's trying to do. I think he was trying to go for a dirty pin there and put the feet on the ropes, but uh, referee in perfect position in for once. Got that side suplex. Clothesline. Vicious clothesline. Come on, killer. European uppercut, rocks Killer back into the corner. What's he going for? Sort of like a five minutes carry roll through, but it was like a from the DVD side of it. Close line by Killer. Now he's not going to build some momentum back in like, he, like his adversary did. Another close line. Tip up though by that. Vicious close line sends the big man back, sends Evil Joe back down. Is he going to go for that frog splash that he tried early on? Oh yeah, five staff rock flash, but right into the knees. Kelly gets right back up. That is a gut buster. What can we arm? Nothing fancy about that. Just takes the arm and wraps it on the mat. Nothing fancy about that at all. Three elbows to the top of the beat. Level 75, nice. STO, uh, STO, STF, excuse me. Will he tap? No, he won't. Elbow and knee to the back even. Going for that STF again. I think he's looking to make Evil Joe tap out. This killer. And third time's the charm. Killer with an impressive victory. In his debut, by the way. Look at that. I thought it glitched there for a minute. Let's go. You get yourself over the thing now. Get yourself over to uh, what are called? Chris Lyles. Here is your winner, the monster. Bit of a killer in his own right. Very impressive win. At the third time of asking, he made Evil Joe tap out. I think he's going to be wrestling on Thursday as well. Killer, that is. Who is he going to be wrestling? I have no idea. Right. Time for the big Amish, ladies and gentlemen. Time for the big Amish. Yes, GG, indeed. Time for the big Amish. Two fourths of the fatal four way, four way dance, which is going to be taking place for the heavyweight championship of the world at the pay per view. It's time now for the big Amish. One on one with John Moxley, AEW champion John Moxley. Indeed. Yes, just in time, Mr. Uh, Amish. The Big Amish, 
one on one with John Moxley. Just a little warm up for you, ladies and gentlemen, a little preview for what happens. Nothing, it's going to affect nothing at the end of the day. Yes, these two will be part of that fatal four way, four way dance at the pay per view, which is a week from Thursday. Um, which is a week on Thursday. It will be Loco Joe defending the World Heavyweight Championship against John Moxley, current AEW World Champion, by the way. AEW World Champion and GMW World Champion. But anyways, and his and the other two opponents in that will be Goldberg and the Big Amish. How am I doing? How is work going? Work is going fine. Uh, I am doing all right, a lot better than I have been. Um... And the Big Amish was jacked chaos. And yes, you'd be working on Fridays then in LCW, uh, Big Amish. But yes, I was um, back at work this past Saturday. And boy, did I need it. Let me tell you. Uh, if you see my photo on Discord, the mask across my face. Yes, that was what I had to do. That's what I looked like on the year show. Um, but it was great. It was great. Great to be back. Um, and like I said, I literally didn't care what they wanted me to do. They are all like, oh, this, 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 and everything like that, and the fucking COVID-19. Shut the fuck up. I wanted to get back to work, man. It's just great. Just great to get back to work. Uh, the big Amish. Hopefully I'll be working October 3rd, but in any event, that's another issue from the other day. Yeah, I was working yesterday. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so Big Amish will have you on Friday. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at Monday 223 pounds, Monday's John Fridays, Oxley. No, no worries. I can see it. Take, care, take care of the business. Yeah. Don't get me started on the show. Fucking Boris Johnson, man. What a fucking tool bag. Oh, no more than six socialising, but at work, go to work, at work, that's it, that's, it, that doesn't count, you know, socialising, no more than six to socialise, that doesn't count at work, though. Now he wants people to work from home again like he did in the first one. This motherfucker can't make his mind up. It's a fucking joke. And now he wants this to go six months. He wants this to go six months. You know, wants these restrictions to last six months. I tell you this right now, I'm not buying that because let's just face it, say what you want, do what you want and everything like that, but I'll tell you this right now, that's not going to go six months because the last thing he wants, besides all the heat that he's been getting over here about this um, pandemic and everything like that, the last thing Boris Johnson wants is Boris Johnson, Prime Minister of the UK, the only man to cancel Christmas. Do you really want that, Boris Johnson? I don't think so. And his opponent from Indiana, if you do, you're a weighing in at 402 pounds, yeah. the superstar. Not that there's going to be much Christmas anyway, but, you know, Christmas is time for families, socializing, partying, getting drunk. That's New Year. But, you know, spending time with your families. You know, that's the only time once a year, pretty much, that you get to be with the family. And I mean, be with the family. You know? And does, and does Boris Johnson really want the name on his name tag? You know, Boris Johnson, President, Prime Minister of, of the UK, the only Prime Minister to ever cancel Christmas. He doesn't want that. And if he, and if he does do that and everything, he's even dumber than I thought. Because if you think he's getting the heat right now with what he's getting through this, you know, this pandemic, and these bullshit rules that he's bringing out, which one minute or one week and then the next minute change every left and right. You honestly think that's going to happen? No chance. So everyone's talking about six months today. Bullshit. 
I'm gonna bind it a little bit. But anyway, fuck boys, Johnson. Let's get back to GMW. John Moxley, Big Amish. Here we go. First half main event. I wonder the video is getting disliked on YouTube. Best cover of the match. Good cover of the match from Big Amish. Only a one count there. Big Amish or Moxley looking to get some much needed momentum to go into their four way a week from Thursday. One of these two men could be GMW Heavyweight Champion of the World. Who will that be? Yeah. To be honest with you, they should be in the lockdown themselves, kill me. I don't think there's going to be another lockdown. To be honest. But like I say, how can they be another lockdown? Right? How can they be another lockdown without without Prime Minister? I haven't got a fucking clue what he's doing. Like I say, one minute, all oh, socializing six, no more than six. You know? But at work it doesn't apply. And now he wants people to get, you know, put, wants people to work from home if they can. The guy doesn't have to clue what he's doing. Period. You know, there's petitions out over the internet. You know, there's petitions out over the internet. Like, like I said, I don't deny it not happening, but there's petitions out over the internet for no lockdown, you know. I think there's something he's not telling us, if I'm being honest with you. I think he's just dragging this out of proportion. Yes, lockdown, um, yes, the coronavirus is serious, okay? I'm not saying it's not. Don't quote, don't misquote me, okay? It is a serious thing. But it was serious the first time. This time around, I think our Prime Minister is just dragging it out. Way too far. And like I say, talking about the six month thing, it, he does not want to cancel Christmas. He does not want to cancel Christmas. Because like I say, he's been getting the heat that he's been getting now. He won't like the heat you'll get if you cancel if you cancel Christmas, let me tell you. Something will go down in a couple of months. Something positive will go down. I believe that. What I don't know, but something positive will go down. And whether this lasts until Christmas, this will all end bad next year. At the end of the day, we just need Johnson to wake up get off his ass, get his head out of his ass. Everybody wanted Cameron out as Prime Minister because of what he was trying to do and everything. You know, he didn't want any, he didn't want to leave the EU, right? He didn't want to leave the EU. But everybody wanted to leave the EU. And he's turned around and said, if they leave the EU, I'm done as Prime Minister. So what do you do if you vote? There you go, we want you out, so boom, 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 done. To be honest with you, Cameron's a pussycat compared to this guy. There's the paradigm shift. Cover. Moxley gets a much needed win. Not to worry though, Big Amis, like I say, it's all warm-ups and everything, build-up. He's done that now, can he do that where it counts? But I might give you two a rematch on Thursday. Might book a rematch on Thursday. We'll see what happens at the end. But uh, like I say, so I had him doing that now. Can he do that where it counts next week? A week from Thursday, because like I say, it will be for a long time. Here is your winner, John Oxley. But for now, John Moxley gets a win. current AEW World Champion. So for now, like I said, well, will he be the next GMW World Champion? But in any event, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of part one of the, I say part one, the first part of this episode. We move straight on to part two. So let's do it. Mm -hmm.
you looking for a gaming chair? Struggling to find that right chair for you? Why not try TriumphChairs.com for all your gaming chair needs. Look at the varieties, look at the mix, look at them all and choose which ones you want. And if you do find the one you want, use Games by the 10 for 10% off. TriumphChairs.com for all your gaming chair needs. I'm not going to lie, I think I might have to change that, Dad. Sounding corny now, but anyway. TriumphChairs.com, 10% off. Games Matt, 10 for 10% off. Also, eSportsFurniture.com as well. Games Matt for 10% off also. Right. Three-way dance. Let's kick off the second half with a three-way dance. Tuba Man. Colby Jordan. Tar Helvossen. Let's see what happens in this matchup. Speaking, going back to Boris Douchebag, right? This other rule that he's brought in, that the pubs and clubs and restaurants and whatnot have to close at 10 p.m. What are we fucking children? <laughs> you know, it sounds like, that to me sounds like he's their dad. And he's telling his children to come home at 10 o'clock kind of deal. You know, you normally would do. Okay, you can go out, son, but you can come home by 10 o'clock. I want you home by 10 o'clock. Thank you. Motherfucker's on another planet, seriously. Like I say, David Cameron's got nothing on this guy. Cameron was bad. But he's a pussycat compared to this guy. Absolute pussycat. Fuck me. Fucking prick. Tell you what, I've had opportunities to go and meet politicians before, but I never took them because I, I don't believe in politicians at all. Find me a politician that tells the truth and backs up what he or she says. I will gladly jump on board and shake their hand and support them one step of the way. But that's never happened. Why? Why has that never happened? I tell you why that's never happened. The following contest is a I tell you why that's never happened. Match. Making How do you know a politician the lies? The weighing in speak. at 500 pounds, one half of the anti Smith. Right. King of the Ring champion still uses that hurricane gimmick, that hurricane entrance. I think he does that to mock the fans, quite frankly. Yeah, still King of the Ring. King of the Ring will be back next season. So for now, he is wearing that title. It is not a defendable belt. It is a belt that that uh, signalizes that he is the King of the Ring. I would prefer that than a crown, quite frankly. But uh, just me. So, King of the Ring champion, and here comes the combatants. The thing is with Big Amish and this man, right? This guy beat the Big Amish at the pay-per-view to become number one contender, has his title shot, and then gets put to the back of the line because in this title shot, Loco Joe made him tap out. So, it is what it is, though. By the way, Big Amish, I'm actually glad you're here. If you are in chat. People in the world can do the lockdown because it increases the world's people traveling around Spain. Oh, yeah, I, I don't, don't deny that for one second, but it's just some of the corny rules. Some of the rules are just corny. That he's bringing out. Like I say, I don't believe a word he says. If he just sat there and said, oh, we're doing this in a couple of weeks, or we're doing that in a couple of weeks, 
I wouldn't believe a fucking word he says. I, I would rather believe it when I see it. Because like I say, I think he's on another plan. Uh, Big Amish. Jiggy the Poop. Is he still doing his VMR as he packed that in? Because I've been checking him out. I mean, you know, lurking in the streams. I haven't had the chance to go in and speak to him. But apparently he hasn't been doing his VMRs. So has he packed them in? Or is he going to be doing them again? Do you know? Because I always see you in there. That's why, that's why I ask you. Because there's one thing for sure, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't stopping GMW. And I ain't stopping Valhalla, GMW. Weighing Which in is. at 280 pounds. Ta hell Voss. The Hammer. Oh, the Hammer is his name. In the words of Queen, we're just waiting for the hammer to fall. Oh, he's doing it on battlegrounds. Okay. Oh, he's took a break from it. Okay. Oh, he's took a break. Okay, so it will be coming back then. He's just having a break. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm probably going to be needing a break from GMW for a lot of the Like I say, I will not stop. But yes, don't know what kill me was saying. I don't deny that. And yes, that's... I mean, people ignored it the first time around in the first lockdown. Some of the stuff that I saw. Fuck it. You know, parties, parties, the law and everything and shit like that. Now there's riots taking place down in London. Oh man. I like I say, he's a fucking two bear. I wouldn't be surprised if he's dragging this out more than he should, to be honest with you. Yeah, all the politicians are liars. In the first lockdown, you had people condemning him for doing a good job and everything. Boy, do they regret it now. Superman, Kobe Jordan. Up the clothesline, Kobe. See, this is what, I mean, Superman is Superman at the end of the day. But the fact that this man is supposedly 500 pounds, and he's doing that, and everything, is what it is at the end of the day. But one thing he is not, ladies and gentlemen, is 500 pounds. It's like the hardcore Holly Crash Holly did it back in the day, when they were allegedly 400 pounds. Military involvement. Jesus. That is too far. Cottage, yes. Military? Seriously? What is it? A fucking war? Military. Well, the fans are fans, but. Military involvement? What the fuck is Next to be declaring war against his own, against the UK citizens. I declare war against the UK citizens. Let's get the military out and go to war. Fucking poor. What a tool. Dragon Queen, as long as you're wearing a mask, don't worry about them. You wear a mask. That's what I do with Nair. I walk into Morrison's and not a lot of people wear masks in Morrison's. Not a lot of people come into masks and wear Mor in, mas in Morrison's and wear masks. Okay? You just go in and wear a mask. Put a mask over yourself and you'll be fine. Okay? I get the same up here in Morrison's. People don't go into Morrison's. There's a few people that walk into Morrison's without wearing masks. I only started wearing masks going into Morrison's during this pandemic. Because I know for a fact, at one point, they're going to pull me up in there and say, you, you won't, we can't let you in without wearing a mask. So, I know for a fact that's going to happen at some point. So, just, you go in there, the next time you go into a shop or whatever, just wear a mask, you're fine. 
you're doing your bit. Fuck them. If they want to get their, their stuff and everything like that, you just go in there and wear a mask and you As long as you're wearing a mask, you've got nothing to worry about. And he said, I get the same up here with fucking Monica. Poor bastard. How could someone be 500 pounds and do a 619? Anyway. So you don't have to worry about anything if you, as long as you're wearing a mask. I mean, pretty much this season, I'm going to be wearing a mask at, at the uh, at the uh, at work. Like I say, I'm not worried about this coronavirus or whatever. At the end of the day, as far as work's concerned, whatever happens to me happens to me. I know that sounds a little bit nasty or whatever, but at the end of the day, if I get coronavirus, I get coronavirus. I know what to do. I know how to handle it. Whatever, whatever. It is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, I'd be sick and tired of doing the same shit. All I've done in the first pan in the first lockdown, right? In the first lockdown, was stream, sleep, and drive around my friggin' and drive around my what you call? Yeah, the first couple of months or so, people were asking me, "Have you been out the house yet?" At the end of the day, I'm just looking for that one thing to get out of the house. Whatever happens to me, happens to me. I'm 36 years old. I'm too old to be worried. Too old for that shit. If something's gonna happen to me, I'll face it head on. Fuck it. I'm 36 years old, I'm too old for that shit. Beautiful. Yeah, and as you notice there, ladies and gentlemen, two blankets eliminated. Boy, as he went down the pecking order since losing the local. Holy shit. The big decline of Tuberman is taking place here in GMW. Holy shit. Spine Buster. Come on, Buster. Oh, hell, Buster. Do the ting, brother. This guy's got some potential on him. He's facing a former world champion. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much the same with me, in, well, apart from looking after the mum and dad situation. Um, I was pretty much, it, it was the same with me. You know, stream, sleep, repeat. That's all it was during the first lockdown. But like I say, I'm fed up doing, I'm just fed up with it all, quite frankly. And like I say, I'm, I'm 36 years old and I'm too old to be worried about stupid shit. I'm getting the support I need. Well, I'm only getting the support anywhere that I'm getting is just to, just, just to keep me from going fucking insane. I'm back at work. You had somebody. Don't think I can control my anxiety. And all you guys know, if you know me, and you, you know, you came around and everything, it's well documented. That I have suffered from anxiety and depression in the past. Good thing I know how to control my anxiety. I didn't at first, but now I do. Here is your winner. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Boston gets a much needed victory. next for this guy hasn't really got the break that he deserved but maybe he's getting it now are we looking at a future champion right first of two title matches coming up next Mercedes and Lady J2 Amanda Drake has been barred from the building she's not here tonight she's been barred from the arena 
You will see her on Thursday for GMW. On Thursday's GMW. But tonight, no disqualification. Mercedes Lady J2. First time these two met was at the pay per view. Lady J tamed the beast. As it was said. Can she do it again? If she is still the women's champion after this match, her match with Amanda Drake, her grudge match with Amanda Drake will be for the women's title. If she's not the women's champion and Mercedes wins it, it will just be a grudge match. Either way, she's facing Amanda Drake at Revolution, whether she's the champion or not. Because that is a grudge. That is a pretty much grudge match. Pretty much. Yeah, that is pretty much a grudge match. Based on the three power drivers incident. And like I say, Lady J is not 100% at the moment. She's still suffering from that neck injury. It's not a serious neck injury, thank, thank the Lord. And I did check with the doctors, otherwise I probably would have had to uh, forfeit the belt. Or have her forfeit the belt, which would have been unfortunate. But thankfully it wasn't. And apparently she's still LCW in a kind well, ladies in a kind of champion. I'm not quite sure about that. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I'm not sure. A lot of things go on in LCW. It's hard to keep up sometimes, especially here in GMW. But anyway, Mercedes, Lady J, GMW TV, uh, GMW Women's Championship is now. The Mercedes following Lady contest is scheduled for one fall. Let's go. And is for the undisputed women's world championship. Let's go. Mercedes. She has a second chance to play in the women's championship. You won the match. MJ, you won the match, mate. Killer won the match. He uh, made Evil Joe tap out. So you are one and zero here in GMW. Not that that kind of wins and losses matter here, but you are one and zero here in GMW. You can watch the match later, guys. Don't worry if you went here, you had to go and do something. You can watch the replay of this after the paper, after the streams off air, it will be up on my channels as well. It'll be highlighted, you can watch it for the full main show as well, but the main recording, the stream recording, will be only up for about 14 days, I believe. So make sure you do watch it. So if you missed anything during the show, feel free to go and check it out after it's done. It will be up on the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, killer made his debut and what a debut it was ladies and gentlemen I appreciate that syndicate appreciate that indeed very much appreciate that right GMW Women's World Title Mercedes Lady J. Introducing the challenger Ball from Birmingham, Rocky. Alabama, Mercedes Remember who you went. Text, Marie oh. Hayes. Mercedes. And introducing the champion from Virginia Beach, Virginia. She is the vivacious Jesse. The, ba the banshee herself, Lady J. The vivacious banshee. And women's champion and mafia member too I might add she's a member of the mafia looking to keep that championship in the mafia too unified television title a uh, unified women's title sorry the TV champion is coming up later on in a matter of minutes he will be challenging for the tag belt in the main event, which is a 2 out of 3 falls match, by the way. So yes, Mercedes. Looking to compete. And all oh, the remaking. 
and German suplex into a rainmaker. Mercedes. Beautiful spear. No disqualifications, no count outs, guys. I want a winner in this matchup. No excuses. I want a winner in this matchup. No. First two points. So Lady J is less than 100 percent Still suffering from that neck injury. The hands are behind the break. Sitting on Twitter, Boris, you can stick your rules up here, you know what, pal. Right. Mercedes. Hopefully, she didn't do that raw move, that raw thing that she did on the pay per view, which cost her the belt. It's cost her the chance to be the champion. She's dominating my champion at the moment, Lady J. Pretty much doing what Goliath did the Razriel area of today. Now you're on the show. Throwing around like a rag doll, but Lady J will fight you back. And remember, she beat a she was 100 percent at the pay-per-view. She's not 100 percent now, Lady J, because she's suffering from that neck injury. Beautiful shot there from uh, Lady J. On Lady J from Mercedes. Lady J needs to fight back. Lady J is not 100 percent ladies and gentlemen. And there's a claw hold. Is this it? Nope. Beautiful MMA from it. From Lady J. I love it. Mercedes definitely has the power advantage. That is a choke slam. Mercedes definitely has the power advantage in this match. Got that one. Military press. Um, Michinoku driver, military press driver, I suppose. These. The champion is getting dominant. Could this be it? Choke slam. One arm choke slam from the top. There. And the military press. Into the driver again. I don't know why she's not going for the for the match. Beautiful. Go for the elbow, but Sadie's pushes away like a rag doll. And look at that chop. Hey, this down thing with the dead. They're going down. Do, 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 do. Move on the outside. This is not a forced tower anywhere match though. So just no disqualifications. Got wrench, power bar. So yeah, power advantage is definitely with Mercedes. Still become the main event. The World Tag Team Talents are on the line in a two out of three falls match. It's the Los Loco Lobos defending against the Wolfpack Mafia. Stay tuned for that one, ladies and gentlemen. You do not want to miss it. Oh, what a knee! 
nice neck breaker there. Can Lady J get back in this matchup? Works the back. Into the midsection. And a neck breaker. Smash. Oh my god, did she knock her, knock her down with that thing? Four arm again. Put her across the rope. Let's get in there. Oh well, it's no disqualification. Oh, that right hand rocks. Lady J. Rocks Mercedes, Lady J. Well, doesn't seem to be able to catch a break in this match. Very dominating performance from Mercedes. Going for a choke slam, completely mistimes it. Go behind, Lady J counters it. Keep the midsection. Lady J working that neck. Chick Costa, the women's title the, to begin with. But today had a Mortal Kombat to find out loud. If you just tuned in, this is not Mortal Kombat, this is GMW. Side. Oh, and a, a version of the one percenter as well. A version of the one percenter. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, almost hits a one count, though. Hey, she's Mafia. Win at all costs in the main, in the air. Uh, the main event, Mafia. The Wolfpack Mafia. Mafia, let's say TNA. Mercedes back in control. Chuck slam. Elbows, elbows. And just that neck break again. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, shot. Slam. Broad storm is slamming that way, I believe. Do 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 do. There's that neck breaker. Oh, she's a little snap. I think she's looking for that neck. Lady J is looking for that neck. There's the vicious clothesline from hell. No prizes in guessing where she learned that. Two, and ooh, almost retained the belt. Almost retained the title. No prizes in guessing where she learned that from. Lady J, who was drafted to chaos, apparently. Joe. I want all, ma I want all Mafia members on the show, but... Uh, so... I want all Mafia members on the same show, but, like I say, since Joe's trying to create the Mafia, the female Mafia, 
Maybe he can help me to be a member because I want the uh, I want a female Wolfpack Mafia. Either way, whoever the members are, Lady J's the leader, so. Counter. Oh, the clothesline. I wasn't expecting that counter. Lady J's done well to stay in this. She was dominating, dominating at the beginning of the portion of this match. She has done very well to stay in this matchup. Like I say, guys, it's no disqualifications, no cannons. We could be here a while, ladies and gentlemen. Lady J wins, Amanda Drake gets a title shot at the Revolution a week on Thursday. If Lady J loses, then it's just a good match. Tequila Sunrise. It's not going to help the neck. Will Lady J tap? Will she have to tap out? Hopefully not. I wouldn't blame you if she did. She wants to be a hundred. She needs to be a hundred percent before the uh, her grudge match at the pay-per-view. Oh! This would be embarrassing if she wins it with this. Nope, thankfully she didn't uh, go for the cover. Maybe that's a mistake. Using my finishing move, a double stomp. Another stomp, another stomp. I thought you could have went for the cover there. Come on, ref. There's that. Military pressure to the driver. The Michinoku driver, what you're call it, is effective nonetheless. Why isn't he going for the, 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 the? Why isn't she going for the cover? Make her pay, Lady J. Make her pay. Cover after that jawbreaker from the counter. Two and only two count. Pretty much an epic match. I'm not gonna lie. Like say, Mercedes Lady J two here on GMW. She likes to work on the neck with Lady J, I've noticed. She's coming from someone who's suffering from a neck injury, by the way. Yeah, pay-per-view week on Thursday, Baz. GMW Revolution, a week from this Thursday. You do not want to miss it, let me tell you. Elbows. One, two... Funnily enough, they won many matches there in OJJ with that, by the way. Whippersnapper! That's how she won the match at the pay-per-view. As she won this match. The only difference is she didn't do that raw thing. And just kicks out. Breaker, forearm them, whatever. Okay, well, this has been one hell of a match between these two. Hell of a women's title match between these two. Somewhere at home watching this on her TV screen is Amanda Drake. Probably pulling for uh, Lady J because if Lady J wins, Amanda Drake gets a title shot. If Mercedes wins, it'll be just Amanda Drake and Lady Jane the grudge match. Oh, 
Oh, and a beautiful counter to the choke slam. A less than 100% Banshee is still kicking butt. Version of the dirty deeds, the very first dirty deeds was used, and the MMA stuff. I swear in it, I swear in it, also, you haven't watched too much MMA in any event, but I was effective. Arm drag, and a full half Nelson suplex. Now you're gonna work, now you're gonna help the neck issue. Not a car is made. these needs to, to, to take advantage of the spine buster power. Like I said, the power is definitely with the, the power advantage is definitely with Mercedes. One, two, and maybe J kicks out. What a surprise. Choke slam. Choke slam. Oh, and go up smash. My boyfriend, my girlfriend, I suppose, with ADJ, but anyway. Yep, there you go. Stop there. Head scissors. See that whip or something. It's been a great match. Great women's championship match. Four arm smash for Mercedes. Is she going for that whipper snapper? Is she going for the whipper snapper? She hits it. That's the second whipper snapper of the match. Has she retained her women's title? Two. She has. Lady J takes the beast for a second time. Yes, me. That was actually a better match than the uh, pay-per-view get match. My opinion. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, GMW Women's Champion, Lady J. So that means now. Lady J will defend that Here's women's title a week from this Thursday. It will be her one-on-one -on -one with Amanda Drake. And she's having the day off on Thursday. I'm just saying that right now. You will not see Lady J on Thursday. I am ordering her to have a day off. I want her 100% at least. At least some, some capacity anyway. For Amanda Drake. She can put her feet up on Thursday. But yes, Lady J teams the beast for the second time. Right. Bit of a grudge match here, ladies and gentlemen, coming up. Hannibal Black one-on-one -on -one with Billy Paragon. Because when Billy Paragon made his debut, the first two matches that I had involved Mr. Hannibal Black. And he tapped him out. And he tapped out twice. And I think he did it for the third time. So we're going to go again. Hannibal Black one-on-one. -on -one. I think he's done it three times, at least. But Hannibal Black wants some sort of retribution. So Hannibal Black goes one on one with Mr. Paragon. Coming up next, after this, Asriel, 
And then uh, it will be the um, tag team title match. Here we go. Co-main event, ladies and gents. Hannibal Black, two-time TV champion. Going down to face Mr. Billy Perrigan. Hannibal Black. I've, no, I haven't, uh, Jack. I actually do want one now you, now you mentioned it. I do want to wear a fishing spot. Definitely do want a fishing spot. I haven't seen one, to be honest. There is some good places on Crystal Island, but I haven't seen that uh, caught my attention on there. Uh, Respects of uh, fishing. I think, I think, to be honest with you, I think some of my area where I'm at, they uh, could be good fishing area, better fishing spots. Yeah, please do that. And I definitely would like to know where there's a fish. Like I said, nothing. I've been around the map, I've been all over the map, but there's really nothing that's caught my eye. I mean, on Ragnarok, there was a beautiful fishing spot. Which was not, like I said, not far from where I was, just where Giga, Giga territory is. Pretty much your spot, actually, on there. Uh, I don't know if there was any on Val, anything on Val map in the space of fishing spot, but uh, yeah. I mean, fishing could be awesome, depending on how that Crystal Isle is fucking probably the best map of the game. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll look out for the uh, small story. It's all good. Drop the, um, drop the, uh, what do you call it, in the Discord and that, when you get the chance and everything. Or better yet, DM me it. On Discord. Stick it in the DM. Stick it in my DMs. I'll check it out. I actually want to tame a blood. One of them crystal, one of the crystal wyverns and that. There's other wyverns besides the ones I've been taming on the map. I actually want to try and tame a few of them. Well, spear off the apron in back. Ow. 
Two. Just the end of the... Oh. Three. Smack at that. Harrigan in charge now. Harrigan now. Four. And the black thinks he's Randy Orton. Six. And the black gets back in. It wouldn't be surprised if this get, gets a double. Goes for a double. Well, goes for a count out victory, but because he, he's just that way inclined. OJ will tell you that. And loyal service is now known. Oh, at four. Pop up Superman punch. Paragon there, derogative toward the crowd there. Kicks him in the back. Out of the black now. Who has the audacity to call uh, Billy a punk? On a few occasions as well. He's called him punk on a few occasions. Oh. Basement hook in man. In the back. Hannibal Black is still a contender for the television title, by the way. So if Billy gets a win, he could be back in contention for the TV belt. Currently held by OJJ. the blackout thing is with that move that spinning kick that he does out of a black you can hit you that without a doorway kicks out we're going to see that street jacket move put the clutch into a cross face because that street jacket yeah. tropical wyverns are the best wyverns in the game my they glow in the dark, and if you put and if you touch the feet on the water, you get a speed boost. But they're my go-to to get it to get wyvern eggs. My opinion. They are my go-to to get wyvern eggs. Not taking anything away from the griffins, but do not underestimate a tropical wyvern. Tropical wyvern. It's a reverse rider, by the way. Yes, do not underestimate a tropical wyvern. Egg. To get their wyvern eggs that I've been getting, I've been using them um, from the wyvern trench. I've been using tropical wyverns, I've been using them for the speed boost. Although I nearly fucked up this morning, I'll be honest with you. And he brought one of the wyverns to be base. Why is the best map on the game? End of. My favourite map, period. I'm sure the tackles go behind, roll through, and a pale kick. They roll up into a pale kick there, or a double pale kick. Kind of a black. Any unorthodox style is uh, a graphic judo throw. From Hand of the Black. And Power Slab, no counter. Drop kick. Mr. Paragon. Looking for the cover. Referee position. Perfect positioning for it. And he gets a one count, though. Beautiful running knee. Match there. Is that it? Come on. Oh, half a second away. 
half a second away, ladies and gentlemen. Can probably get the victory. And we said that blackout doesn't get it. Well, the rolls behind. That's a German suplex. Hagen now sitting up on the black, which he's going for. Oh. Oh, no. Running blockbuster move. One, two. Harrigan gets the victory. Now he owes a pinfall victory. Just wish the Xbox would allow, Xbox would allow mod like Castle Yes, Kill Me has this vision of building a castle on the Crystal Isles map. From what he told me at the weekend. I watched stream once, whatever it was. That's this vision. Most of my my build on Crystal Isles. Billy Pogan, the winner, ladies and gentlemen. My build on Crystal Isles map, the build that I've got on Crystal Isles map, is kind of an idea from uh, Aaron Longstaff. It's what I used on Ireland. When I was on the island, or when I started on the island map, but then I fell out of uh, love with it, quite frankly, because I was bored of it. I mean, no offence to the island itself, but I was... Pfft, like, Ireland became Ragnarok for me, in my opinion. But anyway, I know the mod the PC PC players, man, are blessed. You put mods in that damn thing. PC players, man. Fuck. Anyways, as we are calling me out, I might be making a match at the end of this segment, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I'm going to be doing it, but I'm going to be doing it. Because this git doesn't deserve it, but it is what it is. Sent you a DM to send a DM to you games. I'll check that out now while this is loading. Check that out now while this is loading. Ooh. Uh do this tonight in the industrial pick up. Ooh. Thank you for that, Dragon Queen. I will leave that there, and I will check that out. So that is... So you got that from Stone and Wood. So Stone to Flint, Wood to Thatch, pretty much. Mm, I'm going to check that out later. I'm going to have a little sneaky peek on the uh, industrial grinder. I don't think I've, like I say, I've never used an industrial grinder on Ark, to my knowledge at least. But anyway, we'll see. I need that in the chemistry base. Yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty good. Damn, it boosts levels up though, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll put it in the... Um... By the way, that hatching pad that's at my base, the hatching area that's at my base, it's open to everybody. So if Dragon Queen comes on, if Dragon Queen comes on and she's near my area taming stuff or whatever it is she's doing, and she has an egg, and then she wants to hatch the egg, you know, and she can't be pestered going all the way back to her base and everything, come to my base, get yourself in there, hatch away. Because there's, there's like a platform now with stairs. There's like a platform going up, like I showed you yesterday. And underneath, it's full of air conditioners. So, so the and, and thing works. And so, it is what it is. And I've made my thing a little bit colourful as well. My hatching area a little bit colourful now. Because I've been playing with the, uh, the dye on it. I might do the same for my, uh, what I call it, base. Well, the um, valve base. I may be aberration too, the aberration zone too. Since I'm going to be doing some work in the aberration zone as well. Which is why I did what I did yesterday on the stream. Less said about the snow owl temp, the better. Like I say, the more I think about that, the more I talk about that, the more I get pissed off about it. Fucking 
trapped him well and he still manages to get out. Hard logic for you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I've pissed this guy off. Because ever since he lost the eight man war at the pay per view, at the survival pay per view, now this may be making this guy's life a living hell, and he's not too happy about it. What do you fucking do? So, call me out now. Here I come. definitely need to start making kibble on that too. That's the one thing I haven't done. I have literally crafted everything else. I have never, ever, 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 ever made kibble. That needs to change. Never made kibble on that. I've collected kibble. I've collected uh, kibble, but I've never made it. Yes, the uh, the toilet, and not only that as well. The uh, that sleeping thing, that sleeping uh, thing that you go to bed at night and you just leave it on. You stick, you fill it up with element. You just leave it on through the night. You come back the next day. You might have, you might be on level eighty-five. Say that. You come back on the next day. You could have about ten points in your uh, levels. Tech bed. There you go. That tech bed. Toilet, tech bed. That tech bed's a thing of beauty. It really is. I'm on max level on the character that I'm using because I'm going back and forth with the battle and uh, just allowed. Right here, Dragon Queen, right here. Coming up next, ladies and gents. Tag team titles on the line. But I think I'm gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen, because this has been going on since pretty much Well, since we beat them. But I think what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is a match. There's three matches. I'm about to make four matches for uh, next week's pay-per-view. So a week from this Thursday, it will be... Yo, what up there, uh, loyal son, OJJ? It will be the following. It will be the following match next week. It will be Azrael versus me in a 30 minute hardcore rules Iron Man match. Just one problem. Just one difference though. Apart from me kicking him in the nuts right there. Just one problem. The match, hardcore rules match, 30 minute hardcore rules match. It's gonna be an inside it's it's not just a normal match. It's hardcore rules, 30 minute Iron Man match. The move, the match that I made famous pretty much when I killed the clown on LCW. This one's going to be inside Helm the Cell. That's it. Helm the Cell. So it's an upgraded version of the Death Camp from Hell match, otherwise known as the Demon Death Camp match from Psycho Boys promotion. So. Some douchebag I used to be associated with. So, it's kind of an upgraded version of it. So, that will be 30 minute Iron Man match. Me, OJJ, and yes, me, as we out, sorry, and yes, 
is going to be for the hardcore challenge. I know as we are being hardcore champion is the real thing, but I might go. Like I say, he's been on a bit of a losing streak. Go back and watch him. And like I say, I've got I've got his number. And like I say, if you want to know why he's been on the losing streak, I'll give you an example, go back and watch his match with Goliath. Goliath earlier on threw him around like a ragdoll, so. So yes, that will be the match next week. And then hopefully this feud between me and Azriel will end. It's already ended in LCW. Will it end in GMW? Probably not. But we'll see. Right, here we go. Los Loco Lobos, the world champion and current tag team champions. The Los Loco Lobos defend against the team of Goldberg and OJJ. Yes, it's not me and uh, Goldberg or me and OJJ. I've decided to make this team because this is the kind of team, this is the team I actually want to go for the... Uh, LCW Tag Team tells If I end up going for the LC, winning the LCW Tag Team Championships again, fine by me. I'm already a two-time LCW World Champion. <laughs> Fuck you, Delaguerre. Delaguerre, by the way. Um, so, yeah. Prick invaded my fucking show last week, didn't he? Before the match and everything. Yeah, look what happened. He loses the belt. And yes, he got a rude awakening. But, um, tsh. Anyway, yes, OJJ three belts because OJJ is not only the GMW unified television champion, he's also the LCW television champion, the inaugural LCW TV champion as well. As well, so he, he owns the television titles at the moment, even though he's... Clear, he's made it clear to me that he wants to be the uh, GMW World Heavyweight Champion. Which, to be fair, he, he's in line for a title shot because he's the television champion. But, uh, yeah. Well, like I said, the Banshee came out of here on Monday. I saw the match on Monday and the Banshee came out of here. So, which is... You know, no, no prizes, no prizes in guessing where you got that from. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just tuned in tonight, uh, OJJ and um, cheers, Jack. OJJ and um, OJJ and Sting got into a brawl at the beginning of the show. They can't have a civil conversation. It is personal between them two now. And also, Lady J retained her women's title. Yes, it was Lady J and Mercedes too, and Lady J will now defend that women's title against Amanda Drake. And she's having the day off on Thursday. You will not see Lady J wrestle on Thursday. So, it is what it is, but uh, you will not see Lady J wrestle on Thursday. She's having the day off, because I say so. So, with that being said, and by the way, uh, Royal Sun, did you hear about Lady J in in respects of LCW? Because uh, Lady J is now on Chaos, which, to be honest with you, I'm not particularly happy about because she's Mafia and I want all Mafia members on the same show. However, however, apparently local wants here over there to boost his tag team division in respect to the females but she's also they're going to be doing a female mafia which could help me in the long run to be honest with you because I haven't got a fucking clue I'm going to put in this female mafia so no problem let me know let me know when done and that you know what to do so, yes. So, Lady J for now is on Chaos. Um, LCW Chaos. But, like I say, that female mafia idea is not a bad idea because I haven't got a fucking clue who I'm going to put in this female mafia. Who deserves the opportunity to be there. Either way, whoever gets, whoever gets the nod to come into the mafia, the female mafia, whoever gets the nod, Lady J is going to be the leader anyway, so... It is what it is. So, 
Or maybe we could take over Chaos as well as uh, Nia. Like I say, I got my belt back on Monday, so I'm happy as Larry. Yes, I am a two-time LCW World Heavyweight Champion. Yes. I beat that fucking quick um, mass terror, put him on the shelf. To give him about five pal drivers on the on, on the floor. Lose my belt a week later to do, to Dios de la Guerra, who won a battle royal to get that opportunity, by the way. And then start of season four on Monday. I just beat him up. Just beat him up, picked up while I left off, and gave him a rude awakening. Power driver, rude awakening. Never go wrong with it. Never go wrong with it. Right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. GMW, World's Tag Team Titles on the line. Those beautiful belts right there you see on your screen are on the line here. Lobos versus Mafia. And yes, it's two out of three falls. Mafia, contestant of Loco Joe, eh, not Loco Joe, um, Goldberg and OJJ. Welcome back, Dragon Queen. And then the champions, the World Heavyweight Champion, Loco Joe, and Ray Wolf, the current GMW World's Tag Team Champions, as well as LCW World Tag Team Champions as well. Yes, they own both the belts, ladies and gents. But this is kind of a dream that they're living right now because they wanted to be, they never were GMW World Tag Team Champions until now. So here we go. Straight boot, straight into a cutter. Off the bat there from fucking um what I call it there. Oh no no call it noble type. Oh we'll just do a credit, that's fine. So local Joe and uh two two fourths of the uh, world championship match for the next for a week on Thursday. And this is a, probably one of the greatest rivalries in GMW's history right here. OJJ and Local Joe. Both men have feuded over the World Heavyweight Championship, as well as the tag belt, you know, Mario, Lobos and that. But this is probably the, one of the greatest rivalries in GMW's history. And maybe LCW too. They did bash, they did butt hut, but, they did butt heads in LCW, wow. Coming up as well after this match, guys, after this show's finished, I've got a nice little treat for you as well. So stay tuned for that, that's a brain buster. This is two out of three falls, by the way. Beautiful spine buster. Two out of three falls for the World Tag Team Titles. Whoever wins this will eventually have to defend the belts against the Trailblazers. Oh, yes. Goldberg and OJJ looking to make history tonight because both men have won the World Tag Team Champions with yours truly. Both men have won the World Tag Team title belts with yours truly. But they've never won the belts as a team themselves. So, we're looking to make history tonight and win the World Tag Team titles. And Ray Wolf gets tagged in. Of the Wolf Pack Mafia. Goldberg now. Ray Wolf has got a bit of a horseshoe up his ass since he's, won his, since he's finally won a singles match here in GMW. Hadn't won a singles match since tapping out the Bret Hart. Twice, I might add. But we're talking about the first one before Field of Heat. He finally broke that streak. He's been winning tag matches, he's never won a singles match. He's never been winning singles matches. But thanks to his win over two of the man. Or was it Billy Paragon? It was one of them. I believe it was Billy. Thanks to his win over Billy Paragon, he got the victory. There's the cut again. 
Paul Lamb. That's the world champion now. Goldberg now. Needs to make a tag though, and this is a brain buster. Need to keep that fresh tag. Like I say, guys, it is two out of three falls to your main event for the GMW World Tag Team Championships, the Unified World Tag Team Titles. The reason why they were unified, ladies and gentlemen, because they were mango made with GMW and MCW. Even though it was just one, but I decided to make two brands, GMW brand and an, LC and an MCW brand. But we all know how that is. So I just mango made them both together. GMW was one big brand. Always has been, always will be. And there's a spear. Goes right into the cover. Are we looking for the new champions? No. OJJ gets tagged in. OJJ seems to be okay after his little brawl with Sting earlier on tonight. His little confrontation with Sting earlier on. Beautiful counter. Heavyweight champion in a little bit of trouble here. JJ working on. And then, as soon as I say that, he gets DDT. I'll introduce Jones now. No, not yet, uh, Dino. I'm hanging out to see what them other three wrestlers are like before that. I'm probably going to make his, like I said, this is the last week before um, before the Revolution pay-per-view. Revolution is next week. So I'm probably going to wait till then. I'll probably make him during that period. And if he's going to make his debut, it'll probably be after Revolution. I'm holding out to see what the other uh, wrestlers turn out. I want to have a look at them all, see which ones I can work with in that. But I like your, I like what I saw the first time. I'm not gonna lie, I like what I saw. Like I said, I want to see the other ones as well, the other rare uh, wrestlers as well. And like I said, you know where to send them in my Discord, DM. Uh, I'm open to new talent, but for the time being at least, I want, if I'm going to create new talent and whatnot, I'm not going to do anything yet until, um, until probably after Revolution. Right up. And apparently we're back to doing the old mud hole stomping uh, OP. Remember how OP that move was in 2K19. Mob Mafia, top, thanks for the follow. -up. Roll the dice. Take that horseshoe out of fucking Ray Wolf's ass, by the way. Ray Wolf now with a can. Nobody's won a pinfall yet. Let's a pinfall yet. My local is catching his breath on the outside. Goldberg and uh, OJJ beating up. Matthews beating up there. Uh, Matthew beating up there. Uh, or were beating up Ray Wolf until that happened. Can Ray Wolf get a victory? The first cover, first fall of the evening, as it is two out of three falls. And yes, Goldberg goes back to doing the fucking thing. I need to have a word with him in the series about that. Very seriously. Anyway, 
Nate. Nate and Boot. Goldberg now looking to jackhammer. Ray Wolf, which is about to, going up. Jackhammer inbound. The local getting time to break it up. Two and oh, and Ray just kicked out. Realized that was one up. That was, that was the first fault of the Mafia. Close line. And duck of the close line into backdrop. And spine buster. Goldberg now. With Ray Wolf. Ow. And, yep, super flex on the outside. Oh boy. Oh. And the super flex, man. Another low key flex on the key. If this heads in a double cow now, it's one fall apiece. I believe. This heads in a double cow. If this ends in a double cow now, but... Oh my god, did you see that kick? Goes for the kick, ducks out the way, and just kicks him right in the mouth. Good grief, you saw that kick for yourself. Good grief, Cheeks, that's a DDT. Oh my god, that kick from Goldberg. Literally, Ray Wolf goes for the kick, counters it, and walks right into a boot. Unbelievable. Goldberg hit jackpot with that thing. Perfect man. Very, very suplex. Kicks and some Daniel Bryan kicks coming up. And uh, roundhouse kick in there as well. Headbutt, Nothing fancy about that. Just headbutt to, you, to the beam. Beautiful drop kick. Very well throw slouch as well, guys, from the internet television champion. He's left a mass storage unit on there, uh, Crystal Out. Oh! And I was going to report him too, until I realised it was in, because I thought it was somebody who sneaked in. I fell asleep in my, uh, in my server. And then I realised it was in. Never mind. Back tech. <laughs> I literally was going to report him to the uh, admin uh, thing, and then I realised it was him. I was like, never mind. It's all good. Ray 
when you get out the Crystal Isles Dragon Queen, you'll be able to check out my base too. Well, in full at least. Because I'm on the uh, the beach area in the bottom left hand corner of the map. I mean I could resist not going there to be honest with you. I know you are. I know you are. Yeah. You helped me with the uh, you helped me with the the build the other day. Please the bad. I don't know what to do in respect to the uh, the dino hut though. At the moment right now I've got a big hole because the dino hut is connected to my base on the side. That moves though. Grabs its foot, goes under it, and then kicks it in the thing. And tags himself in. Roll the dice of the world's champion. Are we going to get any pinfalls in this map? Bulldog. <laughs> Bulldog busted the uh, build right open there. By the way, Steam was bad from this match too, by the way. Well, that needs to go for a jackhammer. <laughs> Ow. I can say, if I think it's a, if it's a double cow now, I think it's a, I think it's both falls, but, you know, they both get falls, it's one fall, it's kind of this is probably the only match in this game, the only match happening right now where the tag team titles can change as on a count out. Because it is a two out three fours match. I could do that. I'm going to be thrown back in the ring, the world heavyweight champion. for the back super from Goldberg. Goldberg going for Jackhammer. And hits it. Will this be the first fall of the match? One, two. And Logan kicks out. And OJJ runs over the referee. Hopefully the referee will wake up on that. That's wishful thinking on my part. I'm going to tell you to spine box. Watch yourself, Bill. Ray Wolf's there. That's that leg lock that uh, Ray's been using lately as well. Bill. 
Going to be Olaf. Going for a snap now, I believe. That's a chop block by the heavyweight champion of the world. Let's be the fucking complete idiot again. Little dance, little, the little referee two step is it now, though. DDT. And the referee two step. Fucking dances around like a little blender. Local, su local suplex. Nobody's got that pinfall yet. Yes. Ref is definitely an idiot. Come on. Tag made. Ray Wolf. There's that move they've been using. Some time move. And a hot tag. Dab the taunting. What he need misses. Oh, OJJ. Tequila Sunrise, and no one not talking about the drink. OJJ kicks out of it. Oh. GMW's, like I say, GMW's race robberies here, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a whippersnapper. Yes, the stupid taunts. One, two, and Ray kicks that out. Remember, guys, this is for the World Tag Team Championships. by Loco, the World Heavyweight Champion, against the World Television Champion. Not just on GMW, but on FCW too. Due to the midsection. Face wash. Uh, really close. I just grabbed that foot right in the side of the face. Are we going to see a whippersnapper again? Yes, we do. A freshly squeezed stunner. One, two, three. One fall to nothing for the Mafia. Ray a little slow in breaking it up. There. So we are one fall to nothing for the Wolfpack Mafia. Challenges for the World Tag Team Championships. And the OGG 
Oji has been watching Cesaro. Now Oji J looking for that. And he does it. The punt kick. Owen. Oji J probably would have beaten him there. He kind of did for Ray Wolf there. And yes, OJJ had his, as a pinfall victory over, well, it's all a pinfall victory over uh, local there as well. And Goldberg turns himself in. One for the pump handle. The Mafia have isolated the heavyweight champion of the world. Are we looking at new world tag team champions? One. Two. There's, the, there's that local knee. He needs the pinfall. Get that quick cover. Make an equalizer. Are we looking at an equalizer? One, two, and Goldberg kicks out. Bill, we got to talk, Bill. That's all I'm saying. Running boot. Oh, local play pass it. Small package. One, two. Reference slow count. The enemy the small package. It took him about half a second before he started counting again. Anyways, another one the hook suplex. Firewise and done, but it's a low level. Gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere, I suppose. One, two, and three. The Mafia win the bounce. And Loco got isolated. The Mafia isolated the heavyweight champion. And the Loco, Loco Joe, and and Ray Wolf, the Lobos, are no longer the World Tag Team Champions. The future LCW World Tag Team Champions, OJJ and Goldberg, the team who I want to go for the LCW Tag Team titles, are now GMW World Tag Team Champions. The Mafia get their belts back, I suppose. Here are your winners, the bad guy. The belts are back in the Mafia. The Wolfpack Mafia. Get it right, P-Bray. So OJJ is no. So OJJ is not just now the. But I do have a nice wife and thing. Yeah. That worked. Yes, GG indeed. Don't worry, Lobos, you will get a title shot. You will get your chance to get the belts back. It'll just have to be after. Uh, it would just have to be after the uh, the outlaws. But uh, Goldberg and OJJ are the World Tag Team Champions. The Trailblazers have their eye on them, though. The Trailblazers are the only team to beat the Mafia for the World Tag Team titles. Anyway, we'll kick off. We'll go back to the uh, beginning. Tremendous show. Today, really enjoyed this episode of GMW. OJJ and Sting kicked off in their match. Uh, build up to their match, more build up, brawl. These two cannot have a simple conversation. And I believe now it's personal between these two because these two will meet next week for the World Television Championship, the GMW World TV belt. Leatherface and Pennywise beat the new team of Punishment Martinez and Horse. This match was dominated by Punishment Martinez and Horse. Um, but they couldn't get the job done. And these two are in my bad books, man. I don't know what to do with these two. Fucking idiot. Goliath just literally bounced Israel around like a basketball. Go back and watch the match. It was hilarious. Killer makes, uh, uh, at the third attempt, makes Evil Joe tap out to get his first W here in GMW. He'll be wrestling again on Thursday. Congratulations to you, MJ Tillman, as well, on that. John Moxley, quite a convincing, dominating performance over the Big Amish. But, uh, like I say, 
There's more to come this Thursday, I suppose, on that one. Tor Helvossen beats uh, Colby Jordan and Tuberman, which I'm pretty pleased about, quite frankly. Lady J, a very not 100% Lady J. She's still suffering from that neck injury from uh, Amanda Drake, but she retained her women's title. So on two occasions now, she's tamed the beast. Billy Paragon is pretty much a thorn in the side of Hannibal Black. Because Billy Paragon, thanks to a running blockbuster, gets another victory over Hannibal Black. What a thorn in the side this guy is to Hannibal Black, I mean. As we all and yours truly got into a brawl, and like I say, next week it will be a 30-minute Iron Man match. Hardcore rules for the Hardcore Championship inside Hell in the Cell. You heard me correct. So same rules apply, except it's just going to take place inside Hell in the Cell. This feud must end between me and Asriel. Will it end here in GMW? It's pretty much ended in, G- in LCW because we're not on the same shows anymore. But will it end in GMW? Who knows? And the Mafia once again reclaim the belts that they've made prestigious here in GMW. The tag team titles, the most dominating team in GMW, 